Welcome to Advantage Masterminds. Today I have important questions related to chemistry that will not only help you understand the subject but will also help you to answer in the best way possible. Remember this video is only a guide. So all the best for your exams. Part 1 is multiple choice questions. And A type is choose the correct option in each of the following. So we go to the first question. Gases have dash number of free surfaces. So we know that gases cannot be contained in open containers and that is why they have zero surface. Second, a molecule of sulfur consists of eight atoms. Third, evaporation is an dash change. It is endothermic change because evaporation is a surface phenomenon. It and it absorbs all the heat from the surrounding and that is why it is endothermic. The valency of sulphite is minus 2. The formula of bicarbonate is HCO3 minus 1. Match the following. So here the sentences are divided into two parts. The first part and then the, you can see the second part. So for example, the force of attraction is least in gases because intermolecular force is least in gases so it is least in gases second helium is a gas at normal conditions third separating funnel is used for what type of mixtures liquid liquid mixture usually for oil water and other things then fourth one tearing of paper is a physical change because no new substances formed then fifth one an example of rapid combustion is, so you can see burning of petrol, anything that catches fire easily. Now we come to part C, state whether the following statements are true or false. First one, hydrogen is a combustible gas, we all know that it burns with a pop sound. So it is true. The constituents of water can be separated by physical means, no we cannot separate it by physical means, so it is false. Glowing of a bulb is a periodic change. No, it is a false statement. We can light the bulb whenever we want. Polyatomic ions have a group of atoms that function as a single unit. True, the chemical formula of magnesium oxide is MgO2. It is false. Chemical formula of magnesium oxide is MgO and MgO2 is magnesium dioxide. Sixth, butter is an emulsion. Yes, it is true. Emulsion is formed with the help of two immiscible liquids. Seventh, mercury, gallium, francium, cesium and rubidium are metals which exist as liquid in room temperature. Yes, it is true. Eighth one, metals like platinum and copper are so soft that they can be cut with the help of a knife. No, it is false. They cannot be cut. They are hard, lustrous. Uh, rather you have sodium, potassium, magnesium which are soft metals. The ninth one, Antoine Lavoisier named azote to the inactive gas. Yes, true, while he was doing the experiment on constituents of air. And tenth one, hydrogen gas is used in the manufacture of ammonia. True. Name the following. First, any one condition that favors evaporation, so it can be surface area because that increases the rate of rea reaction or evaporation or it can be motion of air or it can be higher temperature. Second, any one way to prevent rusting, either it can be painting or oiling or greasing or galvanizing. Third, a chemical compound with one atom of calcium and two atoms of chlorine is known as calcium chloride. Formula is CaCl2. Fourth one, a metal which is non-malleable is tungsten. Fifth, when a compound breaks up into simpler substances, then such a reaction is known as decomposition reaction. Example is like water, when we heat it or electrolyze, then we know that because of electrolysis, it breaks up into hydrogen and oxygen. Next is write the chemical formula of the following. First one is potassium hydroxide. So here you should know the symbols and their valencies. So potassium is plus 1 and hydroxide is minus 1. So you cross multiply and bring the valencies down. 
and then you cut it because they are equal and opposite so you are left with KOH. Next is sodium hydroxide so the formula and the valency of sodium is Na plus 1 of hydroxyl ion OH minus 1 so we cross multiply bring the valencies down and then they are equal and opposite so they will uh, cut each other leaving behind the formula NaOH. Magnesium hydroxide magnesium Mg plus 2 OH minus 1 again we cross multiply bring the valencies down and uh, it is Mg minus 1 OH plus 2 so leaving the formula MgOH whole twice because OH is a radical it will be in brackets. Aluminium chloride Al plus 3 Cl minus 1 so the formula is AlCl3. Now we go on to the next one that is silver 1 chloride so this is 1 so this is Ag plus 1 Cl minus 1 cancelling out so the formula is AgCl. Next is silver 2 nitrate so the formula is Ag plus 2 and nitrate is minus 1 so AgNO3 whole twice. Magnesium hydroxide Mg plus 2 hydroxyl ion minus 1 MgOH whole twice. Then we have the next one that is aluminium chloride AlCl3 because Al is plus 3 and Cl is minus 1. Then silver chloride here the uh, silver valency is plus 1 so it is AgCl because plus and minus will cancel out. Silver 2 nitrate here the valency of silver is plus 2 and again nitrate is minus 1. So it is AgNO3 whole twice. Similarly you can try the others also like magnesium hydroxide will be MgOH whole twice. Magnesium oxide will be MgO and so on. Balancing. The first reaction is N2 plus O2 gives NO. So here the first, we, first step is to write the word equation that is nitrogen plus oxygen gives nitrogen oxide then we divide it into reactants and products that is the left hand side and the right hand side and we note down the elements and the number of uh, atoms each element contains and then we have to equate it. Now here because on the right hand side ni nitrogen oxide that is formed consists of only one atom each. So we will not touch the formula but rather we will uh, increase or decrease the number of atoms or molecules as we say. So we will multiply the whole thing with 2. So it will be nitrogen equal to 2 and oxygen also equal to 2. Second part is descriptive type of questions where you need to write a, a sentence or two but all of these are for one mark each so don't write too much. These are all just samples so you can have a look at them how much to write. give reasons so here also as you can see that each is for one mark so please don't write too much so the first one is gases cannot be confined to open cylinders second is the smell of perfume spread far and wide the here also you just have to write the main uh, sentence and third is evaporation causes cooling why because it is endothermic fourth is burning of a candle is a chemical change and melting of wax is a physical change and inert gases have zero valency one. Next is answer the following 
and each question carries two marks usually there will be two parts uh, to the same question and accordingly you can answer them differentiate between the following so here also each differentiation is for two marks so that means you should write a definition and also give an example for example the first one homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures so homogeneous mixtures they form a uniform layer all throughout for example sugar and water solution mixture yes it forms a solution secondly uh, heterogeneous mixture what is a heterogeneous mixture for example sand and water they do not form a uniform layer second is combination and decomposition reactions so what is combination combination as the word suggests combines so anything that combines to form a single product for example magnesium and oxygen combine to form magnesium oxide that is a combination reaction decomposition reaction when any one substance breaks up into two or more different substances that is decomposition reaction for example water on electrolysis breaks into hydrogen and oxygen then the third difference is between an element and a, and a compound we know element is a pure substance made up of one type of atom only for example gold compound is also a pure substance which is made up of two or more elements combined in a fixed proportion so a compound always has a formula whereas element is always denoted by a symbol <laughs>